Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also use the Tabs dialog box in Word to manage tab stops. To use the Tabs dialog box to set the properties of tab stops in Word, click into the paragraph within which to place the tab stops. Alternatively, select the paragraphs to which to add tab stops. To then open the Tabs dialog box, click the Home tab in the ribbon. Then click the Paragraph dialog box launcher button in the lower right corner of the Paragraph button group to open the Paragraph dialog box. In the lower left corner of the Paragraph dialog box, click the Tabs button to open the Tabs dialog box. This dialog box lets you set all the attributes of the tab stops for the currently selected paragraphs in your document. Any tab stops already added to the currently selected paragraphs appear in the list below the Tab Stop Position text box. Tab stops are noted by their position on the horizontal ruler. You can click a tab stop to edit in this list to change its attributes. In the alignment section, you can select one of the available option buttons to change the type of tab stop if necessary. In the leader section below that, you can add a decorative leader to the selected tab stop by selecting the desired option button. Adding a leader to a tab stop lets you apply a dashed or dotted line when you press the tab key on your keyboard to move to the selected tab stop. For example, you often use leader tab stops before page number references when manually creating an index or table of contents. You can remove all tabs from the currently selected paragraphs by clicking the Clear All button in the Tabs dialog box. Doing this clears all the tab stops from the list shown within the dialog box. You can also create new tab stops within this dialog box. To create a new tab stop, simply type the desired tab stops position on the horizontal ruler in inches into the tab stop position text box. Then select the desired alignment for the tab stop from the option buttons in the alignment section. If desired, select the desired leader for the tab stop from the option buttons in the leader section. To apply changes to a tab stop after adding a new tab stop or editing a tab stop, simply click the Set button to set the tab stop and add it to the list of tab stops in this dialog box. To delete a single tab stop, select the Tab Stop to Delete from the list of tab stops. Then click the Clear button to remove it. After setting the tab stops, simply click the OK button in the Tabs dialog box to apply your changes. To cancel any changes you've made instead, click the Cancel button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.